ね。I have a feel like all done. Maybe here. All right, start. This game contains your mom. All right. Presented by Sharon. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot the uh, current playing. Um, Makoto Mobius. And it doesn't even fit. Hold on. Oh. Um, game, game. Okay, there you go. Hey, do you know about Mobius? They say he'll rewrite the past for you, but only one time. Hello. Would I be better off dead? It came out of nowhere. Directed at me for some reason. The girl who sat next to me... The girl who sat next to me, Makoto, asked me that. She was simply a classmate. We're in the same class, but we had never really spoken much. And yet, Makoto came to me with that question. That night, Makoto died. Is Makoto... Wait, actually, now that I think about it, is Makoto a gender-neutral name? Because I, I thought it was like a guy's name, but I guess it's gender-neutral. I didn't even know whether it was a suicide, homicide, or accident. It was never revealed. Makoto has passed away. The truth of the incident had vanished into darkness. That was all the teacher would tell me. I... don't really care. I don't care that the classmate who sat next to me died. Even though she had disappeared. It's not like we were re related in any way. I don't feel anything whatsoever. I'm not even sad. I didn't have a single connection to her. She was just the person who coincidentally sat next to me. Everything would be the same even without her. The same quiet everyday life. I just whistle as I was saying that. She was gone, but my life would go on. Well, hello there. <laughs> Good morning, Wataro. Wataro. You're not looking hot today, you okay? I'm fine. I feel- oh. There's the half face thing again. So I guess- So I guess this is what, um... Is what Mila Fiori got the inspiration from. I'm fine. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I had a scary dream. I feel like I'm gonna throw up.
This girl is Mikio. Like Makoto, she's just another classmate who rarely speaks to me. Apparently she was Makoto's best friend. Hey, is there something bothering you? Oh, I get it. You're annoyed because I'm here to talk to you all of a sudden, even though I normally never talk to you. But I came to talk to you today because I have a favor to ask. Can you guess what it is? I don't know. Get out of here, weirdo. I'm, just, I'm gonna click that. I'm, I'm curious. Get out of here, weirdo. You're mean, you big dummy. Well... I was thinking I want to help out Mako. And you're the only one who can do that. She came over to talk to you yesterday, right? I was watching, you know. She went to you and... She went to you to ask for help instead of me, her best friend. She didn't ask for help? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mako's the kind of girl who wouldn't ask for help, even if she really wanted it. What a sweet little maiden. How do you plan on doing this? Dead people don't come back. Let's do that. Oh, is that what you're worried about? You don't have to worry about that, Wataro. Hey, do you know about Mobius? They say he'll rewrite the past for you, but only one time. That's just an urban legend. And I get there's... Well... I have a variety of options here. Wrong. He really exists, I know. I've even met him. You've met him too, Wataro. Okay, here. It's a Mobius strip. I made it myself. I made it out of, I, put, I made it out of construction paper. You close your eyes, put both arms through it, and say the magic words. You have to say Mobius, I beg you, eight times. Yes, I have no choice. I'll prove it's just a myth. Except it isn't. And I can already tell it isn't. Mobius, I beg of you. 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 Off you go, Wataro. <laughs> Makoto can be saved by me? Why? How? But in that moment, as my consciousness drifted away, I heard someone's voice calling out to me. How many times has it been now? What is it you desire? Do you still not understand? No matter how much you twist the ring of fate, you'll always arrive at the same result. You still don't understand this after going through it, through it several times, and continue struggling within this endlessly repeating time period. So we already did this before? 
So is this supposed to... So hold on. So is this Wataro? He already went through the the whole Mobius thingy. Ended up with the same result. And then forgot somehow. And then he... And then it, it's just a loop, right? It's just a loop of uh whatever the fuck her name was asking him to do to do the thing to save to save uh makoto he does it ends up with the same result and then goes back to the moment where miki or whatever the fuck asks him to save makoto and it's just a never-ending loop maybe that's why it's um Maybe that's why it's like an infinity sign. The next instant, I was there. A calming night breeze. A gently shining moon. <sighs> was this Makoto's house? Oh, it's the same... Same noise as the the red riding her dark side. This must be Makoto's house. Usa! I offer my safe point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Yes. I missed you, Usa. A coat is hanging on the rack. There's a shoe cabinet here. There's nothing strange about it. What is this? It's a calendar. It, today is June 23rd. Some cold coffee is here. There's a bit of rice left in the in the cooker. Inside the trash can, there's a folded piece of paper. Read it. Oh god. I'm going to be late tonight. Go ahead and go to bed before me. From dad. It's a calendar. Today is June 23rd. The day hasn't changed yet. Oh, oh god. I'm still yawning even with coffee. It's a refrigerator. I love refrigerators. Inside are a bunch of containers stuffed with side dishes. A faucet is here. A water filter is attached and must produce some pretty tasty water. Can I? I can't sprint. That's annoying. There's a kitchen knife here. Take it. Might as well. It's a stove. Turn on the gas. Turn on the gas, gas, gas. I'm gonna step on the gas tonight. We fight to be the winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna step on the gas. And you'll see the big show. Actually, never mind. Seems dangerous. Damn it. There's some curry in the pot. I wonder if Makoto made it. it smells kind of good. Taste it. Dumbass fuck. It's a phone. Call Mikio. That's what her name was, Mikio. Hello. Oh, Wataro? What's up? Look how late it is. I think Makoto might die. Huh? Mako? Is that true? Oh no. What should we do, Ma Wataro? Isn't there some way we can save Mako? You know how, don't you? Come on. Come on and tell me. 
Someone has to take her place. Okay. Okay then, so if I die, will Mako be s Mako will be saved? I got it. Thanks, Wataro. I... Mikio died that night. It was a suicide. Mikio has passed away. Mikio took her own life to save Makoto's. And then Makoto dies anyway. Calling him now. Uh. Why? Why did Mikio... Why did she kill herself? Mikio had become her replacement. That was all there was to it. And fate... If fate says that Makoto should die today, it's fine if, some, if someone else dies in her place. That way... The world can stay in balance, and Makoto's life can be saved. Wataro. Do you... know something? Why did Mikio have to die? She died so you wouldn't- Don't fucking tell her that. What the fuck? I don't get it. What are you talking about? Are you saying I was supposed to die? You're saying Mikio died instead of me? <laughs> so this is the reality where I don't die? Where Mikio does... Where Mikio does just to make the numbers match? I... I don't want that kind of reality. Damn it. Why did it turn out this way? No, Mikio. And yet, Makoto had been saved. Saved by exchanging Mikio's life for hers. Bad End 3, Mikio's Desired Future. What the fuck? That was an ending already, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Um. So, uh. Game? You. Oh. Uh. Did you think that it would end just like that? Honestly, yes. That's exactly what I thought. There's no way I'll accept this. Except my best friend's death. Mm. Wataro. You did this. You tempted her into doing this. If this world is going to repeat itself too. That must mean there's more than one of you floating around. So it's alright if one of you dies. Wow. Bad end 3, unforgivable. Wow, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Usa. You're always doing great. Always looking good. Inside a trash can, there's a folded piece of paper. Don't need to read that. The picture frame here. In the picture are Makoto and what seems to be her mother and father. Everyone is smiling happily. A well-maintained decorative plant is here. The dinnerware here all looks like it came from the dollar store.
I probably shouldn't turn the TV on. There's a kitchen knife here. I'm gonna say no. I'm, I'm gonna leave it there for now. My sis, my face is reflected in the mirror. I'm not very good looking. I'm average, if not worse. Just a toilet. There's a bath stool here. I think I might have seen it in a dollar store somewhere. I swear these dialogues were reused in uh, in Mila Fiori. A shower head. It's a faucet. It's the type of a temperature control. Bathtub looks nice and clean. An oddly colored notebook is here. Read it. Yes. One, placing the curse. Cut a paper into a thin long strip, then twist one of the ends and attach it to the other. This is called a Mobius strip. Slip your arms through the Mobius strip, then chant eight times Mobius, I beg of you. After a moment, you will lose consciousness and find yourself in your desired time and location. You will then be the host of this curse. Warning. This is a curse. It allows you to relieve a certain period of time. Relive a certain period of time. Be sure to act in accordance with the rules. Should you stray from them, you will lose something dear to you. The number of people who will die on any given day is fixed. This is absolutely impossible to change. Removing the curse... Oh wait, three. Removing the curse. There is no way to remove the curse. However, if the curse's host dies, the time will loop the time loop will end. So I was right. So this guy is stuck in a time loop. There's nothing inside the drawer. There's a cactus here. Mr. Cactus is written on the pot and marker. Can I not? I can't interact with her. Oh yes, I can. Makoto is asleep. Sniffer? We wouldn't be a degenerate if we said no, so... Sniff, sniff. Surely she will... Awaken one of these days. Surely. I guess not. It's Makoto's diary. Read it. Yes. June 21st. Such a gloomy atmosphere is suffocating. I can hardly breathe. I can't smile at all. Even if I force myself to, there's no heart in it. <laughs> What's keeping me going? What would happen if I lost that? By the time I find out, it might be too late. Oh, I hear it. I hear it again. Please don't do those terrible things. My heart aches so much. You're inhuman. Dad's having trouble at work again. Every day is the same for me. The same time, the same space. I want to help Dad. I want to help Dad. I want to help Dad. What can I do? It's so agonizing not being able to do anything. It's so agonizing. Not being able to do anything is so painful. If only I could change just one thing. I don't care what it, what would happen to me. I probably wouldn't be mad about it. I doubt I'd even resist. What is my heart made of? I wish I wasn't born as a human, or rather as something without a heart, 
I don't care whether it would be it would have been biological or mechanical. June twenty second. Once again, Dad. I made curry. I think it came out tasty. There's nothing to do in the house, so I just keep improving my ability to do housework. I don't have any interests. I used to have some, but now I don't want to do anything. Leave me alone. I don't matter. If Dad told me to die, I would. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. There are no options. There's no other way. My body feels heavy. Was it always this heavy? I'm going to sleep. I feel depressed. June 23rd. I talked to Wataro. That's right. I've never really spoken to him much. But he's the guy who sits next to me. He always has a gloomy look on his face, just like me. I can't really speak for him, but it sure doesn't seem like he's having fun with life. I didn't tell him anything. It's not like I'm feeling concerned or anything like that. Did I want to discuss something with him? Not quite. I'm not worried about anything. There's nothing to talk about. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> nothing has been written after this yet. She's awake. No, she's not, surprisingly. Inside the tissue box, there's a picture of a cat drawn. Did Makoto do doodle this? It's a cute looking shelf. A well maintained decorative plant is here. Makoto probably takes care of it every day. Small TV is here. The mirror shows countless eights engraved on it. Uh, hello? It's Makoto's dad. He's taking a nap. On the floor? Inside the trash can, there's a crumpled up piece of paper. Read it. Why not? Damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. Very insightful. It's a bookshelf. It's full of old books. It's a bookshelf. The salary man. Building communication skills. How to speak while looking someone in the eyes. Business etic Business etiquette. Uh you'll be embarrassed without. Inside the drawer, there are a large number of sleeping pills. Force them down Makoto's dad's throat? Sure. If fate said Makoto would die? If fate said she would be killed by her father? Then I'll just keep him asleep tonight. That way... No one will die. Okay, but one person needs to die, at least. So I guess Makoto's dad dies now. Or is it still just Makoto? A June 23rd where no one dies. This is the answer I've come up with. I went back to my house. Oh.
My house was alight. Flames burning brightly. That day, my mother died. Bad end four. Someone somewhere. Right, I went straight to three and then four. Wait. I know. I know what it is. Hold on. Fine. Is this an ending? No, it's, it isn't. But, I know that I have to use this knife. Wait a minute. Actually, what if I try to use it on Makoto herself? Surely it won't work. Get a closer look at her sleeping face. Sure. That's new. What are all? You came to save me again. I'm glad. Wataro. Wataro, I lo love. Love. Oh. This beautiful girl's heart had been stabbed with a knife. I did it. If she was hopelessly destined to die, if she couldn't escape her cruel fate, then the very least I could do was ease her suffering with my own hand. This is good. Thank you. I'm sure. This was my fate. How? Yeah, I just got shot, didn't I? Something hit my head quite hard. I dropped to the floor. Oh. <laughs> Wataro. Why? Why did it turn out like this? Mako belongs to me. You can't go do something like this without my permission. Mako has to live. I won't accept a future where she doesn't live. I don't care if I... If her father, you, or even I end up as the victim. Go do it one more time. I won't let it end like this. It's unforgivable. Wait for me, Mako. I'll change it. I'll change your fate. <laughs> With the next Mobius... I'll kill you off right at the start. Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of you. Bad end five. Punishment for resignation. How did I go from three, four, and five and skipped one and two? What is one and two? Okay, let me grab the knife again, because I'm pretty sure I need to kill her dad. Take it, yes. Books and various other goods decorate the shelf. Books and various other goods decorate the shelf. A suit is hanging on the rack. 
a futon that smells like an old man. I'd probably pass out if I took a good whiff. <laughs> Alright. Makoto's dad. He's taking a nap. Kill him? Yes. Makoto hadn't died. She had been saved. I killed her father and saved her. Makoto cried her eyes out every day after that. But after a while, she slowly began returning to normal. How long? has it been? I made everyone worry about me. That includes you. Sorry about that. But, thanks. <laughs> now that was a real surprise. Mikio is always so bubbly, but that day she cried so hard her eyes turned red. It kind of makes me feel glad that I didn't die. Huh? Hmm? Oh no. You know... I've been thinking about it this whole time. That's how it is, huh? It was you, right? You're the person who killed my father. You came to my house that day, didn't you? Why? Why did you do that? I wanted to save you, explain the situation. This, these are two different endings, I think. I wanted to save you. So you're saying that I was supposed to die that day, but my father did instead? I won't accept that. You didn't even do anything wrong. How did you think this would all end up? He kept working for my sake. It was hard on him. He kept doing his best. How? Just how do you think I've felt, living the way I have for all this time? I... I was all my father had. And likewise, my father was all I had. We were both saving each other. You don't... You don't get it. There's no way you could understand anything. You didn't save me by doing this. Even if you save my life, you can't save my heart. If my father died in, the, in my place that day, if the only person was supposed to die, on, if only one person was supposed to die on that day, then that day, the one person who died was my father. And today, the one who dies will be me. Makoto killed herself. She took her life of her own free will. If this world was really such a painful hellish place to live in for them, maybe this was for the best. Bad and two dependents. That was bad and two. What the fuck? These endings are all out of place. What if bad and one is just go outside? Yes. Uh. Oh. 
Makoto, you're still awake? Oh, so you were waiting for me. I just finished work. Sorry for being so late. Thank you, Makoto. It's been rough on me lately. Things haven't been going well at work. They got mad at me during editing. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be complaining so much. That's why mom got fed up after all. You're on my side, right, Makoto? You shouldn't leave me to go off somewhere like mom did, right? I'm on your side. I won't go anywhere. I'll stay with you. Makoto. Oh no. Hey, Makoto. If I told you I wanted to die, would you die with me? Huh? See, it's kind of pretty hard to keep on living. I feel like I just... I feel like I want to just end it all. But I'm worried about leaving you alone in a world like this. So, Makoto... Please die with me. <sighs> Don't worry, Makoto. I'm next. Now I'll... I can't... Makoto. I can't. I just can't do it. I'm too scared to kill myself. There's no way I can do it. Pussy. Uh, Makoto. Makoto had died. She had been forced into a double suicide by her own father. Just what had, just what had her life been like for her if she, to have died like that? Would I be better off dead? Why did she ask me that? I wasn't a friend or a family member. I was just her classmate. One she never really spoke to at that, yet she asked me. Marco's the kind of girl who wouldn't ask for help, even if she really wanted it. Makoto. Might have wanted me to help her. Exactly because I was neither friend nor family. Exactly because I was just a classmate. Perhaps the fact that... Perhaps the, that fact is the reason she was able to say those words at all. Makoto. Wataro. I... Don't die. I wonder why. Why did I say what I did to someone like you? Maybe I wanted you to help me. I couldn't tell anyone else and didn't want people to know. So I just chose you, the guy who sat next to me. I didn't even believe you'd come. 
Hey, it's strange, isn't it? I don't have a future beyond this point. It's just been loping countless times. I can never ex escape from this. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm just stuck in fate's loop. By the time I realize it, it's morning again. Wataro, I have to go. Let's see each other again today. Thank you. <sighs> Goodbye. Bad end one. I was watching. Okay, I at least found bad ends one and two. So how exactly do I find the good endings? Uh, let me... Let me go back outside. And I can skip through this dialogue because I've already seen it. My throat is signed to her, so I should probably go make another coffee, but, um... God, I... God, the text is so slow. Um, YouTube behave. Mm. Yeah, I wish there was a way to make the text go faster. Okay, um, hopefully there's another ending if you pick the other option, except I'm not sure if it actually changes anything. It might just be like an illusion of choice kind of thing. Oh my god. Can you shut up? Just, oh my god, can this text go any faster? Makoto. Mataro. I. Makoto. I wonder why. Why did I say what I did to someone like you? I wanted you to help me. Couldn't tell anyone else, and I didn't want people to know. So I just chose you, the guy who sat next to me. I didn't even believe you'd come. Hey, it's strange, isn't it? I don't have a future beyond this point. It's just a looping countless time. I can never escape from this. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm just stuck in fate's loop. By the time I realize it, it's morning already. What at all? I have to go. Let's see each other again today. Thank you. Goodbye. Bad end one I was watching. Okay, it's the same thing. Fuck.
Okay. There's one other thing I can think of. And it involves killing Makoto's dad again. And then picking the other option. But judging by this ending, I don't think it matters all that much. Maybe there's something here. But I don't think so. Because of reflecting the mirror, I'm not very good looking. I'm average, if not worse. Smarkleto's dad is taking a nap. Kill him. Yes. Okay. Makoto hadn't died. She hadn't been saved. I, was, I killed her father. I should go make more coffee. Yeah, okay, there we go. God, I love this fucking... this fucking face. Oh, okay, explain the situation. But she's... So you're saying that I was supposed to die that day, but my father did instead? I won't accept that. Yeah, it's the same. She didn't even do anything wrong. Uh, about that, um... How did you think this would all end up? He kept working for my sake. It was hard on him, but he kept doing his best. How? Just how do you think I felt living the way I have for all this time? I... I was all my father had. And likewise, my father was all I had. We were both saving each other. You don't... You don't get it. There's no way you could understand anything. You didn't save me by doing this. Even if you saved my life, you can't save my heart. My father died in my place that... If my father died in my place that day, then... If the only one... If only one person was supposed to die that day... Then... That day, the one who died was my father. And today, the one who dies will be me. Okay, well. This changed nothing. Alright. Makoto killed herself. If this one was really such a painful, hellish place to live in for them... Maybe this was for the best. Let me see real quick. Dependence, yeah. Hold on.
fun. Uh, there's a kitchen knife here. Take it. No. Um. Apparently there's an oddly colored notebook somewhere that you can read. Hold on, where is this? An oddly colored notebook is here. Read it. Yes. Placing the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I read this. I read this. I read this. I read this. So, I read this, and then I leave the house after this. Okay, shut up. Oh, my God. The fucking text is so slow. So now I leave the house. Hi, Yusa. How you doing? Go outside? Yes. Wait. Don't go. It happened right when I was about to leave. Someone pulled on my sleeve. It was Makoto. Please don't go. You came to save me, didn't you? I know. Hello! Uh, hey, uh, HG. I'll just call you HG. Hello, HG. How you doing? I know. But you can't. The amount of people who will die on a given day is set. That means if you save me, someone else has to die. And if you mess up a step in your plan, the result might end up even worse than that. It's impossible no matter what you do. The Ring of Fate. Mobius is trapping me here. Why hasn't anyone noticed? I know. I figured it out by now. I know that this world's an illusion. So, please stay here with me. Don't go away. Stay here in this endless time loop for me. Come see me every day. You're all that I have, Wataro. Your constant visits are the only thing that have kept me sane. I'll be really lonely if no one comes to see me anymore. I'll go crazy. Come on, Wataro, please, I'm begging you. Please, 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 Oh. How many times has it been now? What is it you desire? Do you still not understand? No matter how much you twist the ring of fate, you'll always arrive at the same result. If you still don't understand this after going through it several times, and continue struggling within this endlessly repeating time period. <laughs> Bad and six, endless June twenty third. Okay. 
Did I try taking the knife and leaving the house? Did I ever try that? Because that was like one of the first things that came to my mind. I don't know, let me try that. I don't Did I do that? I don't remember. Hold on. Yes. I left the house. This is different. I had realized it. If fate says that Makoto should die today, it's fine that someone else dies in her place. That way, the world can stay in balance and Makoto's life can be saved. It was a simple idea. One person has to die, therefore... If I, an irregularity, disappear, this nightmare will be over. Makoto won't die, and neither will her dad. Mikio will survive as well. I'll just fade away without Makoto or Mikio knowing. This might not even be the right answer, but there's only one way to find out. I looked at the kitchen knife I was gripping. And just like that. You and I. We're the same. Today will end, and tomorrow will finally come for you. You've been released from your fate's loop. Nothing will tie down your life anymore. You should live. True end. Classmate. I think that was all the endings, because there's six in total. There's six uh, bad endings in total, and then there's a true ending, which is only one of them. Wait. Hold on, I just read this. This game has a manga prequel called Mikio's Nightmare. Hold up, no, I'm looking this up right now, hold on. Mikio's... Nightmare. Manga. Wataro has passed away. The truth of that incident is that the truth of the incident had vanished into darkness. That was all the teacher would tell me. Wait. Don't tell me that the whole reason why we went through the game it's because she did the exact same thing we just did. I... Don't really care. I don't care that the classmate who sat next to me has died. Even though he had disappeared. It's not like we were related in any way. I don't feel anything whatsoever. I'm not even sad. 
I didn't have a single connection to him. He was just a person... He was just a person who coincidentally sat next to me. Everything would be the same even without him. The same quiet everyday life. He was gone, but my life would go on. Wow.